Thank you for your interest in the ComScope HomeConnect Passive Gateway. This video will describe the device application, purpose, and installation. Historically, residential subscriber installations required one of two devices at the home run location. The first option was an RF splitter, which is a passive device that is optimized for splitting the RF input signal out to multiple user devices. The second was the Mocha Optimized Subscriber Amplifier. As more devices were added to the network, the RF splitter alone could not support providing signal to all of them. A subscriber amplifier would be used to ensure that the signal was at the right level, and then an internal home Mocha network could be used for inter-device communication. Today, combining elements of these two devices leads to one convenient device with two distinct capabilities. The ComScope HomeConnect Passive Gateway provides separation between the Access RF network and the home Mocha network, while allowing communication between the two for a seamless customer experience. The device is fully passive, so it requires no power, but additionally provides no amplification to RF signals. When installing the passive gateway, it is important to make sure the correct consumer premise equipment, or CPE, are attached to the right network ports. The group of four ports in the diamond shape are for devices that require RF signal, including devices such as traditional set-top boxes, cable modems, XB gateways, and XG controllers. The group of four ports in the square shape are for devices that require MOCA signaling, including devices such as XI device terminals. These MOCA-only ports do not provide RF signal, so an RF device connected to these ports will not operate properly. To install the HomeConnect Passive Gateway, use the following guidelines. The Passive Gateway offers two directional mounting options. It can be installed flush against the wall with the ports facing out, or in an all ports down configuration. The Passive Gateway can also be mounted in a demarcation box using the same mounting options. In both mounting configurations, the label will be clearly visible to assist in identifying the appropriate ports. To mount the device in the all ports down configuration, press the bottom side flush with the surface before attaching the device using the included screws and these two holes in the dual mounting tabs. To mount the device with the ports facing out, lay the back side of the device flush with the surface before attaching the device using the included screws and these two holes in the dual mounting tab. In this video, we shall demonstrate the installation process with the ports facing out, but the instructions are the same for both configurations. If you look at the device, you can see there are two groups of four ports. One group in a diamond shape, and the other is in a square shape. The ports in the diamond shape, with the black and yellow outline on the label, support both MOCA and RF signals. And the four ports in the square shape, and outlined in yellow, support MOCA only. The RF input port is in the diamond group shape of ports, and colored blue. To activate the passive gateway, connect the input signal from the ground block and or external drop to the RF input port. Once the input is connected, connect the primary RF device to access port 1. This port provides the lowest insertion loss, minus 6 dB. An example of a primary RF device would be an XB gateway. After the primary RF device is attached, connect any secondary RF devices to access ports 2 and 3. These ports can be utilized in any order. If additional ports are required for RF devices, these outputs can be connected to splitters if adequate RF signal is available. Now that the RF devices have been connected, the MOCA-enabled devices, like X1 terminals, may be connected to the other set of four ports. A reminder, these ports do not provide RF signal. They are used to connect MOCA devices only. The MOCA ports can be utilized in any order. However, for ease of installation, particularly in the APD or All Ports Down configuration, it is recommended to connect MOCA devices to ports 3 and 4 first. Once all devices have been connected, 
Terminate all unused ports with 75 ohm RF port terminators. All connections must be torqued to a minimum 20 inch pounds or according to your local system specifications. Use a torque wrench to ensure these torque levels. For additional information, please visit our website at www.comscope.com.